hello friends welcome to my videos so in this video i am going to show you how to create a user profile service application in sharepoint 2016 and configure the relevant connections so in front of you i have opened the central administration so in this central administration the first step is to create service application so under application management i click on manage service applications now i go to new and i create user profile service application now i'm going to put a name so i give it the name rahul user profile application and i create a new prof uh, apple for this Rahul user profile other settings I can change like DB name but I want to leave it intact it's fine my site manage path is also same alright so now everything is done now click on ok now it is creating a user profile service application and it asks us to wait so we should wait before it is created okay so the process is over for this stage and we can see that the user profile service application has been created okay so I'm gonna refresh the page and uh, here we go okay so this is the profile page I mean the administration page of you the user profile service application so now the next step is to configure connections so in a production environment you have an active directory where you have stored your user profiles so your intention is to configure the profile import so for that you gotta click on this link And then you should click on create new uh, connection so the first step is to put a name I put it Rahul profile connection and you have a type so let's make it active directory import now it is asking for some information fully qualified domain name authentication provider and accounts all right so for me uh, this is a single server installation so this value that you see here is going to be my fqdn fully qualified domain name so i'm going to make a note of it so i need to open a notepad But in your actual production environments, make sure you use the correct values. I think I should change the server name. What do you say? I think I should. Okay. All right. sorry I clicked on the link I was not supposed to so I need to go back oh sorry this is asking the domain name only but I put the computer name so domain name should be dot local should be windows authentication and this should be slash I just have one account 
but that's not the ideal way when you work in a production environment now you need to click on populate containers so when you click on populate containers and you get the containers here that means the connection was successful in case of any issue like if you have done a typo or if the credentials you use uh, do not have permissions in that case you are not going to get this now here you can break it and you can see and here you are going to select how you are going to import so i'm going to import users so although i have only one user or you can go for select all which i don't want to do now and then i'm gonna click on okay oh so the connection was successful all right so let's go back uh, manage service applications and then go for user profile application so you can always run a profile simulation here then it's going to import profiles from your active directory so when you run it for the very first time go for a full synchronization and you can schedule these jobs so this is how it works so i hope you like this video make sure you put a like and comment and in case of any concern question please do not forget to put and uh, please like and subscribe thank you